Right, Mike Amor, thank you very much with that update. There are fears, though, the death toll from the attacks here in Paris will rise. So many people have been injured, many, many of them still in a critical condition in hospital. So Ben Lewis joins us live from a hospital in the city's southeast. And Ben, what can you tell us about so many people still injured? Mel, Paris Public Hospitals tells us that 42 people remain in intensive care fighting for life and the French government is warning that the death toll could rise significantly in the coming days if people succumb to those injuries that they're facing. In all, 250 people remain injured in hospitals right across Paris after the attacks. That includes Australian Emma Parkinson, the 19-year-old originally from Tasmania, was shot in the back. She underwent a minor surgical procedure mainly to clean up the wound area we understand she's in a stable condition now and said to be in good spirits all things considered she'll be in even better spirits shortly though because we're told her mother will be arriving in Paris in a couple of hours time for what's sure to be an emotional reunion it's hard. and the other thing is there could have been so many more injuries because we saw that that stampede that was sparked last night after the noise Mel, that's right. It was a false alarm, but it certainly didn't feel like it at the time. We were outside Le Carillon Bar, where Mike is at the moment. There are about a thousand people there paying their respects, lighting candles, laying flowers, when we heard a bang and people screaming, Allez, Allez, go, go. People were running in every direction. It was a stampede, a terrifying moment, and we were caught right in the middle of it. It's hard to tell what's actually happened at the moment. You can see armed police running down this side street. There were thousands of people here at a candlelit vigil, then all of a sudden screaming, everyone rushing, trying to get out of the way at the moment. Not clear what's happened. We saw a number of people walking down with their hands up. If you look over in that direction to our left there, you can see there are still police crouching around the corner. It's unclear exactly who they're targeting at the moment. There's a small fire where the candles were lit. Not clear if that's been caused by the candles being knocked over or not. The police have moved most of the public back down towards the end of the road. Tense situation. So, Mel, it was, it was a tense situation. Very lucky that no one was seriously injured in that chaos. And police are concerned with everyone going back to work today in Paris that a similar false alarm could spark scenes of such mayhem when people are on public transport or in large public spaces.